Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be talking about the fastest way to make money in New World. So there's a lot of different strategies out there, obviously a lot regarding gathering and that's exactly what we're going to cover today. So starting out, we are going to reel this fish in for you guys. We are using a large, uh, obviously, chance for higher, I guess, tier fish. But this is my lowest gathering, uh, really gathering level. It's going to be actually level four after this fish right here. I did a lot of you know, catching in my past, but you know, level four right now is going to be my lowest gathering. So we have logging, mining, fishing, harvesting, and tracking and skinning. I was deciding on what to really talk about in today's video when I was thinking of, you know, what's the best money maker out there? I kind of kind of reverted back to gathering. I think gathering is like I said, one of the best ways to make money. And we have a lot of different reasons as to why. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at one quick tip before we jump into the prices and the best gathering skills to make that money. So we can actually go over to the map or press M on your keyboard and then go to resource locations. So this kind of explains the resource locations. So you can see that there is an impassable area obviously as this nice gray or darkish gray spot. We see forests, so trees, hemp, herbs. We see grassland as herbs and hemp. Precious, uh, well then we see highland obviously as well with precious minerals and boulders. We see the marsh always offering that amazing oil. We see shrubland with berries and brushes or sorry, berries and bushes. We have coastal hills as well with flint and bushes, and then beach obviously providing a ton of flint as well. So when we are discussing what is the best gathering for your really money-making uh, ability, we're also going to talk about flint, and uh, you know we're going to talk about everything really regarding that. So let's jump over to my spreadsheet here um, in the side while we fish here. I'll kind of go through what is all there and available to you guys. So I jumped into Everfall on a couple different servers, looked at some of the prices, we are seeing a couple different prices right now for uh, these gathering, um, you know, methods. So first off, we have rawhide. So tier one rawhide. A lot of the tier one stuff is what you'll notice is selling for the most profit, and that's because some of that tier three, tier four stuff, a lot of people can't quite use yet. So one thing I'll note is that I went through and got all the prices for the tier one gathering. So rawhide is selling for about 0.91 gold per raw hide. We have green wood at 0.75 green wood per raw, uh, per green wood, obviously. Then we have the iron ore at 1.35 iron ore, uh, well, gold per iron ore, I should say. And then we also have fiber at 1.49 gold. High sop, um, I'm not sure exactly actually how you pronounce that, but that's at 0.5 gold. And then we also continue on. We see fish fillet at 5.89 gold, flint at 4.5 gold, and then water at 0.04. So water, obviously, another resource that you could gather kind of, and uh, really doesn't give you any levels, kind of like flint. Uh, so you're seeing here, I'm actually fishing and getting these salmon. So you can actually see, like I said, fish fillets selling at 5.89 gold. Uh, currently in Everfall. And I do expect these to be very around those prices that we will get at release. So this will still be hopefully relevant. Obviously things could change. But like I said, we have iron ore, um, you know, selling at a dollar thirty-five. I'm just using dollar as uh, terms here, but you know, 1.35 gold. We have raw hide at 0.91. So you can actually gather very, very easily, sell this stuff very, very quickly and have massive, massive, you know, really growth in your wealth. So right now I'm only at 1.1 K. Uh, coin is actually capped at 500,000. Thankfully, um, I have not even been remotely close to that price yet, but I hope to get there at full release. And there's definitely, like I said, with these kind of tips and understanding what gathering source is going to give you the most profit in the store. Uh, you know, it revolves kind of around town projects. So what you get a lot in the town projects is uh, a lot of people needing flint, a lot of people needing fish fillets, and a lot of people not even really taking the time to do those. So nobody wants to go out and pick flint because, like I said, no XP gain. Fish fillets take a while to fish, obviously. So we just, you know, did a couple fish. We have two fish right here, median salmon. So we can actually salvage both of these fish and see what we get. We actually got three fish oil and uh, we have six fish fillet and one firm fish fillet. So actually very, very solid drops there uh, with those fish. I do think, you know, realistically, we are going to continue to see a lot of people jumping into the fish game because it is very underrated in value of, uh, or I guess in terms of value right now. Uh, do you know, kind of remember, guys, when you're jumping in and you're doing iron or collecting, you know, 
uh, really raw hide, you're going to collect a multiple at a time, and it's going to be a lot faster than collecting just one fish and then salvaging it. So keep that in mind. And, you know, I didn't really go over fish oil. So let's go back and, uh, you know, kind of get a price point on fish oil real quickly. I don't have much as off left, but that is perfectly okay. So let's go back and uh, recall to our house. And then we'll also talk about really what else you can do for money because there is a lot of other options besides gathering. I just kind of wanted to, talk, uh, I guess, touch quickly on the gathering as, you know, really the main source of income because I believe it really is right now. Uh, you know, you can also obviously sell your weapons in armor when you grab them from, you know, uh, different uh, really mobs. There's a lot of great armor out there when you start to get to tier three, tier four, you can start to sell it for pretty good amounts if they're, you know, fairly good attributes and passive abilities on there. But we can actually take a look at fish oil right now. If we go to fish oil, this is just checking one server. So keep that in mind, $45.99. So that is an absolute insane amount for fish oil. And I just got three of them for fishing for, you know, just a couple of seconds. So it's just crazy how much you really can you know, make very, very quickly by fishing. And I think, you know, realistically, all of these are great money makers gathering in general, because there's so many people wanting to craft and refine right now. And they buy these up and then they go to the town project board, they'll use it for XP, or they'll use it and make great gear and bags. So another thing to know is if you are into gathering, one thing you're going to want to make sure is to have great bags. So right now I don't have amazing bags. I only only, uh, you know, kind of use tier twos. So you do see that I have worn traveler satchel tier two, nothing special, but I do have here reduce the weight of fiber cloth and sickles by 6.7 percent and then also a tier 3 bag here when hit with a rifle 7.1 percent chance you gain ammo obviously more of a joke but we also see the reduced weight of ores ingots and pickaxes by 7.5 percent so great passive there um, continuing to get my encumbrance up to about 519.8 as a possibility and you know we can make this go much higher i just haven't spent the time making new bags we also wanted to make sure you have great you know really you know, tolls, I guess is what I'm looking for the word here. You know, right now I have a tier three green sickle and 38% chance when finishing gathering a node to gain one Azoth. Fairly nice. We also see steel skinning snipe with the same exact thing. And then we have the steel mining pickaxe. You can also get gain 5.8% more mining experience with this one, as well as, you know, you can get some great passives out there. And I do think it's important to make sure to take advantage of this, get, you know, a tier that's will, you know, something that you can actually equip, something that will continue to make you level faster and get those nodes faster. And also, like I said, get you better resources. So uh, if you guys want to look into a little bit more, I definitely suggest going to your keyboard, pressing K in New World. You'll be able to see the gathering options and you can actually go into logging, mining, fishing, harvesting, tracking, and skinning. That you can see I have 200 on and have maxed that out. But you can actually go into it and see, you know, at what, what rate we gather and uh, what rate you track, uh, the gathering speed bonus. So right now you can see that if we went into tracking and skinning, I have a 154% gathering speed bonus. So fairly, fairly solid. Uh, and you can skin animals that are up to level 67, which is obviously max level. We can also check here with mining. So 113, or I guess 113.8% of an increase gathering speed bonus. So uh, I can actually go up to, you know, right around this alchemy stones. I'm not actually able to gather star metal quite yet, which is actually fine because like I said, guys, before, Tier 1 is actually selling for quite a bit more on the market, like I suggested. Uh, so if we actually go to Star Metal, we can actually see Star Metal as one of the cheapest way, uh, really kind of cheapest ores right now in general. Um, if I could find it here. It looks like I'm just kind of straight up looking star metal up. So we have star metal ore at you know, 0.1 gold when you have iron ore at obviously a massive a massive amount more at that 1.36 now instead of that 1.35 that we are once at continuing to rise obviously as the demand continues to grow for crafting and refining so that is kind of a quick guide of fastest methods of you know really making that gold in Eternum by gathering. I just want to kind of go over those prices but now I just want to talk a little bit about where you can find certain things all right, so guys, we're going to jump into this map at newworld-map.com. This is the most up-to-date New World map, in my opinion. Um, so I actually can go over to the filters on the side here. And the first thing I always do is hide all. So if you hide all, you have nothing on the map, right? So then we want to go to cities and others. We want to select all. So then we close that. You can actually see some of the basic landmarks. It makes it very easy to understand where you're looking at. And then we go to the filters. We can actually take a look at ores. So ores 
like I said, iron selling very, very well right now. We can actually check mark that and see all these iron locations around the world. So there's a lot of great places to actually gather and make that money very, very quickly. Everfall has a great spot right here as well. So you can actually go around and, uh, you know, right on this mountain ridge, you can collect all of this great, great iron right next to the main town. So that's a great way to really make sure to take advantage of Everfall and really, like I said, selling at that price point, definitely worth doing. We also want to take a look at a few others. So let's take iron ore off of there and uh, let's go to one of my favorites and that is definitely going to be um, <laughs> I can't even think of it plants we go to fiber or hemp uh, so fiber and hemp is going to be like I said one of the best places in my opinion to do so is actually right here in Everfall people a lot of people don't know about this but there's a lot of hemp just surrounding Everfall south uh, really kind of south west border uh you know there's just a lot of hemp in this little area but you know one of my favorite things to do is go to actually restless shore in the top right so if we go to restless shore there is a ton of hemp in this very nice area right here which also brings you alongside like i said if we actually check mark iron veins right now we can see that iron's actually up there with that hemp as well and you know it's crazy if we continue on and we actually go to uh we continue on let's say we want high stop as well because we want to make some of those potions or we just want to sell it in general we can actually take uh take a look at herbs as well so there is some herbs up there as well and uh just a lot of great things up there so if we actually take a look as well i don't think you can go into skinning exactly but you can actually take a look at uh you know monsters and go into um you know boars and stuff but there is a lot of boars running around up here for skinning as well so this is a great spot if you guys are mid to uh you know upper level i'd say 30s to 45s you can definitely run up here get all this hemp get all this iron and obviously like i said bison up there a lot of great things to take advantage of and get quick quick xp uh you know on that town board or you know selling it for uh, like i said immense profit and gold at the Everfall Town is definitely going to be the best way to do so in my opinion. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys this map, how it all worked. Very, very easy to understand and uh, really kind of get your way around. You know, a lot of people talking about really the fastest way of getting that gold, you know, maybe just going out there doing quests, killing mobs. In my opinion, this is definitely the best way still gathering very, very quick in gathering if you have the right gear. And you can always, like I said, buy the correct things as well when it comes down to, uh, you know, things like potions or, you know, I guess, I don't know if I'm calling that the right thing, tinctures or potions that really give you a boost basically on your gathering rate and, uh, you know, your luck or your percent chance at getting a rare find when you're gathering. So there's a lot you can do. Like I said, just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of my thoughts on the quickest gold when gathering in New World. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. I'll see you guys all in the next one.